Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Anders is a freaking abomination thing. Kind of like somebody else we know in the ways that they're... This is the two examples now of people who... Mages who have been benevolently possessed. Interesting. This sheds some interesting light on the other scenario as well. I think we have to... Uh, oh, I don't have... Okay, I don't have him yet at, with, in my party, so... Okay, but we welcomed him, and he's in our group now. So we will... Bring... Anders... Hey, let's uh, see, let's uh, see how this goes. Well, we'll see, I don't know. Abilities. Alright, so we had him. We had that one and that one. And then he's got healing there. We should give him arcane shield and crushing prison. And yes, and that one. I hope that works out for you. Anders, my boy. I really need to go through inventory. I hate going through inventory. Oops. Uh. What do you do? All day. All day. So this mean this would be a good one for me to have. Sure, I'll take it. Um, I could really up my attack with the. That's eighteen, nineteen. I'll take that one. Uh, let's check. Anders. Fire damage, health. Um. Sure, you can have that one. And then. I have to do the upgrades elsewhere. So the armor is all basically for me. Right? Because the upgrades are separate. Nah. Okay, if that's the case, then I'm not gonna worry about. Oh. Oh, but the. Yeah, I got this now, but now I'm like, meh. Plus 10 fortitude. What does that look like, even? Oh, right, I think we did look at it. That one does look good. But it looks like we'll have to go with this and sure, we'll go with that. Um Well I mean yeah, no, it looks like I can't the only these are only for me. I see. Okay. We'll put that away. We'll, we'll put that in the junk. We'll put that in the junk. I, uh, oh, that requires 16 magic. I want to see what it looks like. Oh. I think that. I think I saw it. Oh, no. That's my new helm that I have on. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what he's got. Um... Freedom's call, I guess, there's no point in looking at it, I guess, right? Okay, we'll give him the... We'll give him that one. And her... We'll give her that one. Okay, so we can toss this one and that one.
Well, looks like this one's actually better. It's got plus 48 attack. And I don't have... I keep forgetting to bring her with me. Oh, she doesn't have a uh, stuff on? Sure have that. Sure have that. You want an amulet? A belt? Sorry, I'm also eating, so I might be cutting in and out. <laughs> I got hungry. <laughs> oh, and there's like the upgrades over there, it looks like. Oh, does she not have an... I thought I just gave her an amulet. Did I not? Okay. So you can have two rings. Why couldn't I... I wanted to wear two rings. Yeah, the, the earlier. I don't know. Oh, well. Oh, I do. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. I see it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quiet. I just, I don't know. Now. I'm like, well, this is so weird to have him here. It's weird. This is not a fun place to live, man. All right, what should we, what should we do? I don't even know what we're doing. Uh, should we do that? Uh, let's summon the Chantry. So I've got the Grey Warden maps. I just, I don't know if I want to go do the, the Talbashoth thing. Oh! Oh! Oh, I gotta go! Oh, companion! Companion! Oh, shoot! Sure, quick, let's go! Hangman pub! <laughs> That gives us something to do. Oh. Make sure everything is on over there. Jeez, I'm gonna freak myself out. Okay, okay, here we go. So I guess sometimes if, if they're in your group, the companion quest won't trigger. Because last time I talked to Meryl, it was a, it was a surprise. Harping on the mages here. No. They aren't what you saw in Tevinter. The moment they are free, mages will make themselves magisters. They're slaves. You should want to help them. I don't. Jeez! Jeez Louise. We want to go to the daytime. Hangman. That was big. I I, I kind of like I'm like I'm like I'm like almost wanting to be like justice. Are you there? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? I have two apostates with me. What am I gonna do? You owe us, Isabel. Oh, I know that name. Well, Lucky, I'll tell you what. Since the information you gave me was worth nothing, that's what I'll pay you. Me and my boys will get our money's worth, bitch. She gonna eat you oh, alive! Poor sweet thing. I can already tell. Tell me, Lucky. Is this worth dying for? She's pretty. She just leans back on the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. Wow! Hey! <laughs> oh, we got it. Okay, it's gonna be weird. You're new around here, aren't you? Welcome, and keep your wits about you. Do you have my purse already? You're nothing but tits and arse to the men in this place, and they won't hesitate to grab at both. <laughs> How do you know? Uh, good to know. Thanks for the advice. Anytime. I'm Isabella. 
Previously Captain Isabella. Sadly, without my ship, She's the title rings a bit hollow. Not the one we met with Zed Brand, right? You. you have that look about you. I was in Denerim not too long ago. Oh, you are that Isabella! You, know, you might be just what I'm looking for to solve a little problem I have. <laughs> Can't anyone put <laughs> their own lives around here? Must be something in the water. <laughs> Someone from my past has been pestering me. Uh, I've arranged for a duel. Is if it Zebran? He leaves me alone. <laughs> but I don't trust him to play fair. I need someone to watch my back. Who's this person you've arranged to meet? His name hey, is Hader. Dang it. Not we Zebran. Together back in Antiva. He's never liked me. He's been asking about me all around Kirkwall. Thought I'd get it over with and meet him face to face. Good idea. Fenris would, would agree. Whoa, there's a guy back there. Why a duel? <laughs> I like duels. It's what I do. And if I win, he'll be dead. Problem solved. Yay! You wanted information from Lucky. What was it? I asked Lucky and his boys to track down something I lost. They failed to do it. It's nothing to worry about, and this is much more important. Oh, okay. What makes you think I'm right for this? Because I have gorgeous eyes! Lucky, didn't you? Those boys couldn't manage simple information gathering. I can't trust the riffraff in this place to do anything right. But you, you're different. What happened to your ship? I think I could manage watching your back. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> I've arranged to meet Hader in Hightown after dark. I'll meet you there. All right! Jeez! Fools rushing. Fools rushing. Only fools rushing. That's what it is. Oh, that's my the thing. Okay, well, uh. This is a talking area! I mean, you know my feelings on the circle, but usually it's the only decent training a mage can get. My father taught me. He was in the circle once, trained there, but he got away. How did he get away? I don't know how lucky you were to have someone who loved you and could help you. Most mages would kill for that. You remind me of him. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> Bethany, are you saying that if I choose, if I decide to get in a relationship with this man, it's because he's like our dad? Great. It's basically set in stone then. Ugh, that's how it always goes. Hey, Beric. I got the I got the Grey Warden maps. Okay, that so, was weird. I've been dying to know what was going through your head when you fought that ogre. <laughs> For the first few seconds, what do they feed those things? <laughs> I don't know anyone else that's even seen one. You're lucky just to be standing here. I saw Somehow, him a lot. Hulk, I imagine things won't be dull with you around. <laughs> Not that I expect the deep roads to be boring, mind you. Constant threat of doom does tend to keep you awake. I uh, want to get to know you. If we'll be working together, I should find out more about you. I love that mark! You're in luck. I'm always willing to talk about Ooh, myself stop. to beautiful women. <laughs> my family came from Orzammar, Noble House Tethrys, until my father got caught fixing provings. He and our whole house got exiled. No huge loss. I was born up here. Sunshine suits me just fine. I can't see. Varric would be so... If, if his personality was the same. Or whether, his personality probably wouldn't be the same if he was brought up underground. And that would be a loss. Because he's just so... <sighs> he's such a rogue. You know? I don't know. He's just... The way he is, he would not be able to be like that down under in, in Orzammar. They're so strict with everything. Are you a merchant? A mercenary. I'm a younger son. Ah. It's a difficult and dangerous profession. <laughs> a lot of us die of boredom. <laughs> Fortunately, being Bartran's younger brother keeps me on my toes. Maker knows he lacks subtlety. I'm the one who pulls strings to keep the coterie out of our hair. Keep us just a whisker ahead of the other families. Oh, okay. If we'll... You're in luck, my fam... He and so our whole house it? got exiled. No huge loss. I was born up here. Sunshine. Anything in particular I should know about your brother? 
To understand Bartrand, you've got to understand the Dwarven Merchants Guild. These are dwarves who would sell their mothers if they thought it'd get them a better share of the Lyrium market. Right, Anyone surface dwarves are really important. Anyone who deals with them with a knife under their pillow. In my family, that's Bartrand. What are your plans for this trip into the Deep Roads? Bartrand's running the show. On Draste's ass, he'd probably do that even if we weren't paying for everything. The tide we're looking for is supposed to be a week's travel from the surface. So I hope you aren't scared of the dark. Uh, I don't like We've got it. supplies, muscle, excavators. The plan is to carry out everything that's not nailed down. Well, that's not such a great idea because they're just doing it for the money when it should be kind of for, you know, the archaeology. <laughs> Sort of. There's the history, right? But basically, the history. Like, if you remove objects, it's like, you know, taking it out of context. But they're just gonna sell everything because it's worth a lot of money because not a lot of people can get to it. Have any war stories? A lot of things can keep you awake, you know. I wouldn't reach for the doom first. Sure. I could have a cup of tea in the morning. But I hear it's bad for you. <laughs> I've spent my whole life in Kirkwall. Dangerous enough most days, but it doesn't compare to the deep roads. So, this will be... Let's just call it an adventure, I guess. Adventure! Great. <laughs> now we're adventurous. <laughs> oh, wow. Sweet. Edwina's the meanest waitress I've ever met. But ow, she keeps ow, my drink ow, full. I can't my get... Ah, ah. <laughs> um, nope. Lady. Oh, I don't have Varric with me. Let's see. Yeah, Bethany, we're good. Fenris, I'm okay. Anders, I'm okay. I just got Anders, though. I'm not worried about it. And this is the first act. You know, act, act. So, I'm not. I'm not really worried about it. Oh boy, uh, should we head up to the... Oh wow, there's a lot. Okay, let's get to Hightown for a minute and see what's up there. Oh, right, uh, Isabella. We should maybe, should we get Isabella or no? I know she's one of our companions. I recognize the name. Hubert? What's Hubert want? Here you're having problems with the bone pit. Oh. I can help. What? Ah, finally someone comes to help me. What's that one? <laughs> you look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Serves me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Interesting. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. Yeah. Your first mistake was naming your mine the Bone Pit. Nah. The locals named the mine. Those fools say it's cursed. That is why I hire Ferelden's. They may be dull-witted, but they're not superstitious. Y yeah, you uh. Mind what you say about my countrymen. I was not referring to you, of course. Yeah, if you want my, my help, workers Bucko. are a particularly desperate sort. They're lucky to work for me. Few in Kirkwall will hire Yeah, refugees. I'm sure you pay them great, too. Yeah. What's the reward? Oh, wait, I will. I will pay handsomely. The exact amount depends on what perils you face. Oh, okay. You said some of your workers are Ferelden. Yes, all of them. An unruly lot. The only ones who are sure. willing to work in that sort of a place, you know? Surely the miners had good reason to leave. I am at a loss. No miner has reported in, and no one takes me seriously. The bone pit must be dangerous if people are afraid to venture there. I love her hair no, so much. No, nothing like that. Pay no heed to local superstition. The bone pit is mostly harmless. Mostly. M mostly. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. Okay. Uh, who's this? Oh. Am 
my dear wife Danette has gone missing. Uh, Gislaine. Okay. Who are you? I heard you lost something. Oh. I, I had never the, thought the, the, My dialogue again. and my words Thank didn't you. match. That's funny. Um, well, what's... You won't find better prices. I'm sure. What's up here? Oh. I offer a bounty for the return of my wife. What? What do you mean you can't help me? He's from Olay. This is a domestic matter, Sirat. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. You kind Bring of look like back. a drunk. We're done here. I don't know if you deserve to have your wife back. Useless. Why are we still paying those sluggards? Uh... Your wife is missing. I can try to find her if you like. Yes. Oh, I have been waiting for someone to say that. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. All right, I need to find she her to and get her on. out. I can't imagine why she might run away. <sighs> yes, yes, my wife and I don't get along. But that's not the important thing. It is a really important thing. The family is getting suspicious. They think I might have <clears throat> done something to her. Even if... Well, I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. Okay. You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her. Ninette keeps the company of other men. Huh? And makes no huh? secret of it. I'll be better off with her gone. <sighs> well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. I can't imagine why she'd leave you. <laughs> You're such a prize. <laughs> it wasn't always like this. Ah. We were in love. She defied her parents to marry me. That doesn't happen. Sometimes, I wonder if I dreamed those Sometimes, years. I wonder if I dreamed those years. Why would her family think you did something to her? They think I married her for her inheritance. And they know we have been fighting. They believe this is reason enough for me to hurt her. But I swear, on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. Well, you know, if, it, if she was the one at fault, then that's something else. But she might actually be in danger. Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? It's her own doing, gallivanting about with men half her age. Wow. She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. Yikes. How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's I do feel kind of bad for the guy if this is the case. Minute is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. You're vile. I won't help you. Um... I'll we'll try see. my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited Halls until Jethan sent a letter to our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lily's hmm? her favorite. Ah! Talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, sir. Okay, the first sacrifice. Oh boy. Um What else do we have? I don't know where I'm going. Okay. Let's see. Something over here? Oh. Okay. This fell into my hands. Recognize it. You just stumbled on this? Can't say I'm surprised, bloody fools. Right. Okay, and then... This way. Ah! We can talk to them! Oh my gosh! Bodan Fedic, purveyor of goods, both common and rare, at your service. Wow! And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant and enchanted as you'll ever Sandal looks really fall. creepy. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. Hello. 
Oh, we Carl. Shall be accompanying your expedition he was kind of cute before, but now he's really creepy. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. The thought of adventure does make me giddy. <laughs> <laughs> A kindred soul, surely. <laughs> hey, but he I looks tranquil sense. now. Do you wish to peruse my wares? So he's coming with us. That's interesting. Make use of Sandal's unique talents. Enchantment? Just so. Just so. I thought all enchanters were mages. Not at all. The fable dwarven resistance to magic has allowed enchantment of crafts for countless ages. Granted, most dwarven smiths must work for many, many years to learn the skill. But my boy is a natural, a savant beyond compare. Uh huh. I like enchantment. Wow, that was the long at the sentence. <laughs> he enjoys his work. What more could one ask? You two don't seem the sort to hire onto this sort of expedition. My son and I have never played it safe. <laughs> never captured a tried and true rogue. He helped out the Grey In fact, Warden. We have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Ferelden, legendary Grey Warden and vanquisher of the Blight. <gasps> you knew so her? You helped to defeat the Blight. In our small way, perhaps. We did well, not Sandal fight showed up at the craziest side, places. The hero of Ferelden is a fine woman. After all her accomplishments, may she find even greater success. <laughs> ah, but surely my past is hardly of interest to the likes of you. <laughs> I don't need anything right now. I look forward to our voyage together. Our voyage underground. Surface dwarves, okay. Keep going down here. Um. Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh. Right. Uh. Athenril. Um. Sh shall we speak to the Athenril? I'm gonna save. <laughs> I don't know how many saves I get. Huh. Well, I just lost a sovereign. Didn't think you'd stoop to our kind again. Or are you not too proud to make some coin? Um, well, why aren't you the one who asked me to meet you? Why are you acting like a witch? Pride usually hasn't been my downfall. <laughs> Since you stormed off, we don't have anyone who can quite work your magic. If you know what I mean. Then be nicer to me! I sent some men to fence a bit of cargo down at the docks. Haven't seen them since. I'd pay good silver for the safe return of them, or the goods. Is this anyone I know? When you left, we had to take on new Ferelden. Volunteers. Lad named Price was leading them. No one of your caliber. Okay. Want to tell me what you were selling? We were trying to make a deal with the Carta. Those Orzammar dwarves. They like luxury items. Fine fabrics, a cask of caviar, an aged wine, anything one can liberate from a high town merchant. Okay. Where were they last seen? They were supposed to meet down by the docks, under cover of darkness. I know you're familiar with the concept. Okay. Sure. Consider it a deal. Good. Go to the docks tonight. My boy Price was supposed to meet our buyers from the Carta there. Maybe you can find out what happened. Okay. So there's that. And now we can go into the Blooming Rose. And... Is your face on straight? I hope it is. That was kind of terrifying out of the corner of my eye. Now I have a bunch of companions, and I gotta just decide who to bring with me, you know? And here we are in the brothel. <laughs> My day is complete. <laughs> Sister, get someone out. here tries to hire me again, I'm leaving. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't care how much that man pays, I'm not rubbing Hubert's feet again until he bathes. It's disgusting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He didn't really ask you to wear a feather boa. Oh, what, what are you wearing? You get used to it. Oh, lazins. Okay. Poor Furia. I've got your usual ready and waiting for you upstairs, Sarah. 
Many thanks, Madam C. I'm a little bit creeped out. I won't la He's like wearing like spandex? This is a weird place. The merchandise is up front. Skinny hag. I'll have you sacked. What? Madam doesn't give a rat's ass about your brat. She pays me a copper every time I kick the little bastard. Uh. I'll get your order in a minute. Okay. Sabina's brat. I can do whatever I want. You're not the boss of me. All right. Yeah. Kick him. Feel free to kick him. <gasps> it's Gabby. <laughs> I won't mention this to your mother if you don't. <laughs> oh my gosh, you don't have the money to be doing this! I can't... I, I'm trying to talk to the guy. There we go. Welcome to the Blooming Rose. Personally, I wouldn't say it's blooming precisely, but the name's not my choice. Okay. Thanks, guy. Do, I don't want to actually... Uh, okay, it looks like it might not be... What's this? Oh, just a roundabout way? Where's like rogue types in here? Are there any like books to be reading? I just don't want to like walk in on something. Hmm. No books? Can you teach me what? What's someone saying? How about from behind the bar? Hi, Gamlin, I see you! Oh, is this the kitchen? Oh, a chest. Uh, oh. I got that, did I? Barrel. Um, crate. Ring. I wish you would tell me what kind of ring it was. It's just like ring, you know? Amulet, belt. Well, uh, can we, no, we can't get up. Mom says I don't have to listen to you. Oh snap! That kid is a brat. My gosh. All right, I'm trying to ignore my phone right now. It's ringing at me. Okay, up the stairs. So you were in the circle and ran away. I don't know if I'd be brave enough to do that. You've been an apostate your whole life. Exactly. It was never anything I had to work for. Other people always took the risks to keep me free. Hmm. I thought it might be interesting to bring Beth Bethany and Anders along together and see what they chatted about. Oh, oh, you're, okay, you're that guy. You Are you wearing heels? Okay, you're not wearing heels. I might be able to take you seriously. Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for you. <laughs> you eyebrow? What can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? You're not my type. I can see why Nanette liked you. Look at her! You're feisty. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> a All refreshing change from the pale slug I married. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. Good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. Uh... Did she tell you she left her husband? No. I just hope that's what she did. Ghislaine only wants her for her family's wealth. Your eyes are a freakishly Nimet's shade a of jewel. blue. Elegant, worldly, just the perfect level of depraved. Ghislaine doesn't deserve her. Okay. Ghislaine knew about you and Annette. Did he talk to you? The man is incapable of talking. He came here, yelled at me, called me a dirty knife ear, among other things, and accused me of corrupting his wife. You don't look like... We had him thrown out. You work in a brothel. You're kind of wearing... I guess it's his rest day, right? Do you think Nanette has come to harm? I hope not. Everyone loves Nanette. Sometimes twice a night. <laughs> wow. Ghislaine's the only one who might hurt her. I don't know if I believe this guy. And he doesn't have the balls for it. Uh, oh my gosh, did you see what his hair did? <laughs> ah! Yeah! <laughs> Were you hoping Nanette would leave Ghislaine for you? Of course not. I know my place. I offer a service, that's he all. He seems like he knows anyway, what he's doing. there was someone else looking for Nanette. You know what I mean? A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. <laughs> you seem to see enjoy why a your Templar job. Would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. What? Oh, okay. Any chance in Inet's an apostate? Well, she certainly cast a oh, spell on boy. me. Oh <laughs> boy! What? Anyway, this guy if is incorrigible. I think Emmerich would have said so. 
Jeez! Someone else Nanette spent special alone time with, perhaps? She always liked men in uniform. You could ask him yourself. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Darktown. You could see if he's still there. And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime. You see her? Oh my gosh! Why is he still glowing? Back again. Sure you're not interested in my many, many services? I'm sure. I was just passing through. Have it your way. Nope, you're not my type, dude. Two, two of my time is right behind me, so... Sorry. Glowing objects? In this big, huge room, there's no... Oh, okay. Oh, but I don't have Varric. Nope, and you guys don't. Well, I guess it just really depends on your cunning, doesn't it? It doesn't matter if you're a rogue or not. I get, yeah, I don't think anybody's got a high enough cunning in this group. Well, nope, I'm just trying to open the door. But whatever. Can I... It's, it said it was a door. Didn't it? Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay. Odd. Have I given... Fenris a good... What? Or no, does his weapon... I guess does his current weapon... No, it's not, actually. Oh. All right, sorry. I guess I should go to the shops, actually, and see if uh, I can find any upgrades for people. Okay. I guess we'll just go. Oh, I had a headache this morning. It's kind of coming back. I put my glasses on, but they're so far away. Hmm, kind of want to check out some shops. I cannot wish the Templars away. I can try. Is the circle here truly so terrible an option? Do you really have to ask that? You would be kept safe from others as well as from yourself, and they would be kept safe from you. I didn't ask for this. Nobody asks for their fate. Hmm. He says some very interesting things, and like he, the way he says them is very compelling, you know? Oh, what's over here? Uh, oh, I can't. Uh, oh, I can. Oh. Oh. Have you seen him? Karen, was it? No. There are many Templars in Kirkwall, woman. What the heck? What's that? Who are you? Oh. Please, can you help me? My brother. Wow, the lady! What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout. So idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. She's speaking very softly. And now my brother is gone. What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage. And she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They laud at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce and utterly without pity that she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. No wonder you're being so quiet. I'm here to help you. Just tell me what you know. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They wow. won't tell me anything. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance. 
In your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Make a bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. Thank you. Oh, I uh, I completed it. But what did I what did I get instead? Oh, okay. Oh, the guy's over in the corner. Oh boy. Ah, so many quests. Oh, I should go drop off the remains of a uh, sister plinth. I do want to do the I want to see the Kunari. Who are you? I don't know who you are. Who are you? Who are you? You there, Ferelden. I wish to speak with you. Yeah? I've heard you have dealings with certain elements in the city. You can get things You're a done magistrate. on the sly, as they say. That's a fancy way to put it. I am a magistrate in this city, and as such, I wish to hire you for a small, albeit... I kind of want to punch you job. in the face. A man I sentenced to a life in prison has escaped custody. Oh, you're worried. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. I'd like you to retrieve the fugitive and hand him over to the guard. Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. We're both intelligent people. There's something in the ruins, isn't there? Aha! There is something, yes. There are creatures in the ruins. The guards I sent are ill-equipped to deal with such beasts. Hmm... Do you know what manner of beasts they are? I don't know what they look like. I've never seen one myself. The guards say these things have already torn through a full company of men. It would be easier to seal up the entrance and let the beasts take care of him. I believe in justice, Ferelden, not unbridled slaughter. I will not let prisoners be eaten just because I don't want to get my hands dirty. Hmm, I wonder. I'm sure if you send in enough men this time, they'd do fine. Yeah. No. Just throw the in more. The more guards who know, the easier it is for this to get out. Those men gossip like old fishwives. I'll take the job. All right. Bring the fugitive in alive. Quickly and quietly. Not only will you be well paid, you'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. Useful for a refugee, wouldn't you agree? I've been here a year. Am I still a refugee? What's over here? Is this the Chantry? I think it is. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Haven't gone here in the daytime. So there are certain areas where conversations will trigger. There's that one in the tavern. There might be one outside my house. Tranquility is the whole problem. If they didn't have that to hold over us, we'd have so many more options. Right. If we want to fight back, or just engage in intelligent debate, they make sure we can't do it. They're forcing our hands. There's no way Don't to Don't encourage her! There must be something. If it's tranquility or death, we have no choice but to make every confrontation a life or death struggle. I know, but there are good people in the circle, the Chantry. Don't try there to get my to sister killed. With them. Not if they take away your ability to reason. I will not look upon you kindly. Those children, the orphan Ferelden's ran off again after we fed them. I wish they'd let us help them. It'd be better than scraping by on the streets of Dark Town. Okay. Certainly very impressive. Oh. Oh. Okay. Look what I found. Your reason for living. <laughs> Bless my fool spirit, I never thought I'd see that again. The remains of Sister Plint. That's what you thought you'd never see again? Alright. Well, odd. Nothing in here? Yeah. Alright. Cool, cool. I guess, so we dro we finished doing, I think, some of the drop-off quests, which is nice. But we've still got that one. 
those, all of these, and that. These are just secondary, but still, it's good to do. Oh. I haven't done that. Oh, I could go back to the Dalish. Find iron bark. And, um, what else was it? Live in ruins. Find a dragon fang. These elusive creatures will never come near the city. Dragons? You mean you just want me to go find a dra- Are there dragons in this game? I don't know. Dragon Age Origins only oh, had sorry. one dragon. Okay. Uh, but if you had Awakening, there was another one. Oh, we can go into the gallow. Oh, is that what we were doing before? Uh, no, the gallow. Okay, the gallows isn't just the circle. It's also where the Viscount is. Um, yeah, I'm going to call this part here. Uh... I don't know, or maybe we should get Isabella next time. I don't know. We'll see. I might play just for a little bit longer. Um, but thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.